Alright, Celestial Tournaments, let's be like the raid for pet battles. It's pretty awesome. Basically, you need at least 15 level 25 pets to even enter the tournament. And even if you only have 15, you probably don't have the right pets to actually do it. I've done, there's like three different trainer cycles you can go through. I actually already went through to see which ones they were already. Let's see. Tarazon Zoo. It's Tarazon, and then there's Rathion and Chen, I think. Yeah, Chen and Rathion. Rathion, I go last, because he's the healing pet. Because in these ones, you don't take any damage if you forfeit, so if you just go against Rathion, you use a pet that has a team heal and just heal up all your pets. For this first one, let's see. Tara Zune. Do I already have my stuff set for this guy? Tara, I have Snell, Creepy Crate, and my Raven. Actually, yeah, I do. I Absorb, Acid Goo, Dive, Bone Storm, Death Grip, Agony, Alpha, Call Darkness. Okay. I got it all set for this dude. Let's see. The first one uses Comeback, Blackout Kick, and Feign Death. Feign Death. I'll use that when he's at 50%, so I should prepare for that. I'll switch up to Creepy Crate when he's close to 50%. This guy's pretty easy. I'm a snail, so I don't get knocked. I mean, it's done with his blackout kick. Plus, I have absorbed, so I can just keep attacking him while not taking any damage because I'm just gonna heal up whatever hell he does to me. That's not 50% yet, so I can probably do one more absorb and then switch out. Because he's gonna faint death on his next turn. I'm gonna use that to get a free switch to my creepy crate. Yep, faint death. Bolo, Bolo, because the other guys have these type of abilities, so the snail doesn't work on them. Bolo, Punch, Blinding Power, and Rampage. He goes off with the Rampage first, I think, so I'm just gonna dot him up and then switch him out. Agony. Agony does more damage, the longer it's on him, just like the real... Actually, I don't know if the real Agony works like that anymore. Okay, and then it switches to Yen. Still has 7 seconds on his Fame Death. I mean, 6 rounds on it. I'm just gonna Bone Storm to hit him in the back row. Oh yeah, I forgot about that blackout kick. Whatever, I'm still gonna stay into the crate. It's fun if the crate dies, I don't need him for another battle. Oh shit, yeah I'm gonna kill myself right here. Bone Storm does like 10% of your damage as health when you use it. That's fine, I'm just gonna dot him up with Agony and then use the free switch with his death. To go into... Let's see, Yen, I can take him out with my snail, right? Yeah. Snail comes in next. So it's two turns on Feign Death, so I'm just gonna absorb twice. So I should be fine. Agony should kill him right now. Yep. Next guy. Lee. Lee's the healer. With Lee, I have to go into my Guildmate and Raven, because this dude counters him pretty hard. He heals up and he has a move which will interrupt my round if he goes first. Since I'm a flying type, I'm gonna go first. As long as I'm above 50% health. So, darkness to prevent his stupid. Well, to cut his heal in half. The Raven, because I take less damage from his only beast type attack. And I go first so he can't interrupt my round with the stupid spin kick. I got him. Just one more alpha strike and he's dead. And then it's on to his last guy, Bolo. The guy I switched out on. I'm gonna wait for him to use blinding powder before I use my nocturnal strike because I can actually hit him while I'm blinded. Alright, he's dead. Boom, bitch. His nocturnal strike always hits during darkness. Okay, first guy down. Not really a problem since I've already done all of the trainers before and I have a strategy with my pets for each guy. Rathian, Rathian's last just in case I need. Just in case I fail. This next guy is actually kind of hard. Rathian's the hardest though, which sucks because he's the healing pet too. Okay, for this guy it's Chen. Chen, I use the Clockwork Gnome. And... the Nubish Idol. Nubish Idol, Deflection, Sandstorm, and Crush. Hmm, do I need Deflection for this dude? Actually, I think I might be fine with Rapture, because I use him to go against a 
a what should we call it? A critter. Now it does less damage to him. And my Jade Dancer. Jade Mist Dancer, Geyser. Should I use Acid Rain? Oh, I forget what this last dude's pet is. It's Brewy. I don't remember what Brewy does. I know I use the Jade Mist Dancer for the Hitch Hands. Mm, geyser, Acid Rain. I think I'll just go with Geyser for now. I'm not sure. My original strategy, you didn't use the Jade Mist Dancer because I didn't have him last time. So let's see how this works. Starts off with this beast type, Tonsa. I'm gonna go straight into my Bill Turt. He's going to try to attack. Luckily, Headbutt didn't stun me. If it did, I probably would have had to just give up because I can't take a stun. That shit's too much damage. Attack. I really just want to set that second torrent, and I'm fine with dying. Boom! Chew. I go first, right? 280. 289. Damn, I'm two speed faster than this guy. If I sit down my turret, I'm probably gonna die. And his. Yeah, this dude's way faster than me. Hmm. I'm just gonna set down that second turret. I don't care if I die. Maybe he'll use Chew. Oh, nice! I don't remember if this hits or not from the back row. Alright, chirp, chirp. Oh, actually, you know what? I used Sandstorm. Why the hell did I do that? Whatever. He puts me to sleep. I attack with that. Whatever. Oh, I should have waited for the sleep. I forgot all about that. That's fine. He's gonna set up Locust Storm. This is gonna be doing work. Pass. He's gonna hit me this turn. I take less damage than some humanoid. Okay, now all he has is flank. I still have one more round of turret, so I should probably just crush. So if I use Sandstorm now, it'll just weaken my own damage. So there's one more round on Locust Swarm, so let's do this now so I don't take any damage from that. And then I'll just block it. Ooh, shit, he's almost dead. Charging up Logos Swarm, and he's dead. Now it's time for Brewy. Brewy starts off with. What does he start off with? He starts off with a stupid ability to. Oh shit, this guy knows an Aqua type attack? Ooh, that could be bad. I think I should just stay with my idol until he's dead. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need him for the next fight. if he does like super lower my hit chance. Try to get some hits in. Barrel toss. Oh, I can just block that. That's cool. At least it's a multi murder ability. Reflection always goes first no matter what your speed is, so that's pretty nice. Oh, he didn't use it. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Come on, Crush. Damn. He died for no reason. He got, like, nothing out. Okay. I'm just going to use... Hmm. I'll set up Geyser, and then Rain Dance, and then just Steam Bolt until he's dead. He's going to lower my hit chance, and I go first so I get the free hit off. And then Rain Dance to increase my hit chance. And crit. So now Steam Bolt has a 105% chance to hit. Just good enough. And I still have my clockwork gnome to survive just in case this dude dies before Geyser can kill him. And it looks like I got it. Geyser kills him and I survive with clockwork gnome. Ooh, that was a tough one. Alright, time for Rathian. Rathian! Let's see, for this guy I use a rabbit. I'm gonna use high IQ. Cause I use the other two rabbits for a different fight. Scratch, burrow. Hmm. Do I even need burrow? I don't think so. All I need is dodge to block one ability. I don't really need 
because his first pet is way faster than mine. And then the macro bait marionette. I was trying out a new strategy with this guy. Let's see. Siphon life and... Dead Man's Party, huh? Nah, I'm just gonna go with Bone Barrage. Macro Bay Marionette, Siphon Life, Bone Barrage, and the last guy will be my Critter Killer. With Maw, Frenzy Brew, and Punch. Maw for the fight for it. Okay, let's see how this works out. Cindy, too bad Cindy's faster than I am. Just do some scratches until I have to use dodge. First he sets up the frost bomb, then he'll set down his blistering cold. Blistering cold's so annoying. Alright, now I just dodge his turn to block Ice Tomb. Shit, crit. That sucks. And then I'll just use Stampede. It's strong as shit against Cindy. Did she just refresh Blistering Cold? I think so. Doesn't matter, she's dead. I don't need it for the other fights. That's what the macro bay is for. Okay, uh, what I really need to do is switch out. Doesn't matter, he's gonna do something. I should probably just not attack, really. That way I don't get any more stacks of blistered and cold. Damn, still got another one anyway. Hmm. Alex, let's see, she does a flamethrower. I should probably just stay alive until I can block icy tombs. Looks like I go first at least. Cool, at least this is elemental damage. Okay, now I can dodge the ice tomb and get rid of blistering cold at the same time. And if I survive, I'll use Stampede to try to get that that damage debuff on him. It also increases their damage by 100%. It's like a nice howl. Oh shit, I still had dodge going. Frostbite's gonna kill me though, that's way too much frostbite. Okay, with Cindy, I should probably. Hmm. Should I set up my. Yeah, I should set up my dots. I'm not sure, I've never used this guy before. I just leveled him up like a couple days ago. But he seems like he'd do well in this fight. Damn, look at all that damage. Alright, and then just hit with Macro Bay Macarena until he's dead. I have more dots than he does. Or she, since it's Alex Straza. Come on, dots killer! Ah, oh, so fucking close. She goes first, too. This sucks, I should probably just refresh bones. Just in case I. No, oh, I lived. Huh, I didn't know I took less damage from, <laughs> from dragon type attacks. Okay, a uh, little death wing. He sets up Elementium Bolt first. Hmm. I could set up Siphon Life. Yeah, let's do that. I still have my round of immunity once I die to do stuff. Now I'm just gonna keep hitting with Macro Bay Macarena until I'm dead. Oh shit, I survived? Crazy, this dude's gonna take the bolt. <gasps> Missed, this is ridiculous. I've never been this lucky against little Deathwing or Dada. I'm gonna be stunned during my round of immunity though, but I still got my dots rolling on him. Damn. All I have to do is make sure <laughs> this dude doesn't get one shot and I'm golden. Don't one shot me. Oh, come on, just hit him. 100% hit chance. I was safe. 